Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and welcome back to Let's Play The Wolf Among Us part 12. So in this part we are starting episode 5 and it's called Cry Wolf. This is the last episode of The Wolf Among Us season 1. I have everything crossed that Telltale are planning on making a season 2. By the end of this season it suggests that there may be a season 2 because they do kind of leave it on a little bit of a cliffhanger and obviously there are quite a lot of Fable comics so you could expect a new season um, and I am I don't even know if it's been announced I've not really been paying attention all that much but I don't think it's been announced as of yet and I know so many people are hoping for it so I'm really hoping that Telltale decide to do a second season but we're gonna get right on in to the last episode of The Wolf Among Us. Let's see where this takes us. I mean your eyes and the teeth you're not really supposed to do that are you? <laughs> If I can avoid it. Oh no. Throwback. No. Holly's sister. Lily. Oh. I don't like seeing Do all of this. You even give a shit about us, the strays. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! <laughs> We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Oh, that was so nice. Ugh, I hate that woman. Ugh. Oh god, Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, oh, Bigby. wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? Oh, we have so a great gross. deal to discuss. Okay, so that's what's previously happened in The Wolf Among Us. And I'm just going to skip through these credits and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Episode 5, Cry Wolf. You've come a long way. We have. We've been looking for you, Crooked Man. You must be tired. Crooked Man's lair. At night time. And we have no clue where it is. <laughs> He looks pretty tired, I'm not gonna lie. Those bags can be. are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. That's very true. You've been keeping us busy, old man. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? No. F that. Do you want a drink? Something to eat? No. Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, her carpaccio, it's lobster. Sirloin. Why is Vivian I'm here? here? For one reason, and it's not to eat your fucking food. <laughs> really? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. Yeah. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Jersey, shut up. You're a weak. Link. Well, Sheriff. For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You're destroying this town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery? Kidnapping? Extortion? Murder? What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fabled Town? I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. What? How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? Because you've been I'm doing it all. I'm man. Well moneyed. People do like to take their shots at me. You're right that there's a conspiracy, but you're the one behind it. I have no need for treachery, Bigby. I do everything right out in the open. 
But I can understand the confusion, and I'm truly sorry about the trouble all this has caused you. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The no. recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late. I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just B. want to see the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. An unfortunate bit of business? You're going to tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. We're the sheriff. You need to tell us. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. Absolute no, bullshit. I'm going to deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? <laughs> the man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. You think I'm scared of you? Oh, these <laughs> tweedles! Enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. <gasps> what? Why? Why did he do that? However, they were like his I employees. Said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie, you got what you wanted, so just sit down now. How? Why would he do that to his employees, though? What did he get out of it? Yeah, I killed him, so what? Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does yeah, it matter? Buddy. Look, the fact is. George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. No. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame <laughs> me for it. Ooh. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. No, 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 this no. This is right, bollocks, sis. I think Georgie did take You're his You're just going to let him do this? Look at their faces. So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? No. You can have Georgie. No. I Consider want him. I want gift. you. Ensuring our continued cooperation. I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not <laughs> taking me, you fucking ponce. What Ooh. the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're going to sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like yeah, that? Yeah, come on, I Vivian. Fuck, you the one Who the shit do you think you fuckers are the fuck out of I here. I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's Can no way anywhere. I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go. This could have gone so well. What? To speak the truth, no. I've never been a very good mediator. I hate Why him. Why negotiate when you can just decide? I really, really dislike him. Oh God, here comes his little whore, Mary. Jeez, why is she here? <laughs> Clearly can't do his work for himself. Did I miss anything good? Why? Well, look at you all fixed up. Power of a woman. Boom. Oh, Jesus. Are we going to have to fight? Holy crap. I don't like fighting in this game. Ooh, Jersey's Kevin. Go away, Jersey. Q, 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 Q. Did you really not get enough Take of this. the beating? Yes. Oh, that means Vivian and George are gonna run. Come on, we're pretty much done here. Oh no, they're gonna run, pussies. Oh man, cute. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. No, you won't. Oh. Oh crap, cute. Georgie, don't even. Someone's gonna get hurt. Oh. And it was him. Oh god. Oh crud. 
I suppose he did kill those women. This way. Oh, those two have run now. Everyone's running. Everyone's a bunch of pussies. Clearly can't handle the big bad wolf. We're clearly far su too superior for everyone. Here we go. Time to follow. Come on, Georgie. Oh, Aww. shit. Even though he did kill them, I feel sorry for him. We're here. We're going to get you, Vivian. You can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, we're turning. Oh, crap. Too strong that I'm bumping Oh, sh what? Q. This is getting serious. Every good game needs a chase. Yes. Ah, oh, bro. Let's do this. Come on, Big B. Come on, Big B. Oh. Oops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Imagine that just like running into your apartment block. I would shit myself so hard. Like that would must be terrifying. Come on, Big B. He's pretty, pretty damn athletic as a wolf. Whoa. I'm impressed. <gasps> Is that him? That one. Yes, it's him. I thought it was. He was in the limo. Oh, Mary. Little twit. Oh, crap. What? Oh, I thought we had died. We just got run over. Oh, poor Bigby, but damn, look at that body. Whew. Getting hot in here. <laughs> I'm such a perv. Oh, come on, Bigby. He's so hot. I'm no denying it. I know so many of you think the same as well because you you guys have commented that before. Oh, they're at the pudding and pie. Where did he get his T-shirt from? And how is he still wearing pants? Was he wearing pants as a werewolf? All right, let's have a look around here. Holy shit. That's a lot of blood. How is... Is he even gonna be alive? Like, that's a lot of blood to lose. Is there anything else? No, we can't go around there. Okay. Guess we'll head on in. See what's going on. You know, Vivian and him ran away, so... I feel oh, quite no. bad, but... No, no, oh. no. I'm sorry, Georgie. He did what bring it on himself. Now, eh, Vivian? What the fuck do you expect me to do? This is it for me. You know that. <laughs> Nothing left. Oh. No he has lost everything. <sighs> right, come on, Bigby. Let's go see what we can do for this poor chap. What the? What? What? Oh! <gasps> Vivian! You're too late, Bigby. What? Why did she do that? She's dead. What the fuck happened, Georgie? What's it look like? I'm really not in the mood, Bigby. <laughs> so why don't you just fuck off? Start <laughs> talking, Georgie! <laughs> Jeez, that's gross. Oh, you think that'll help? I told you I don't want to fucking talk. Especially not with a piece of shit like you. So just leave me the fuck alone. If you don't talk, you're gonna end up like her. I didn't do shit to her. She killed herself. What? 
Oh my god, I liked Vivian. Just pulled her ribbon off right there. Didn't fucking matter what I said. She always did what she wanted. She just... Right in front of me. Why the hell would she do that? <clears throat> she said she'd had enough. She couldn't live with what she'd done. She's the original Big B. <gasps> the girl with the ribbon. Couldn't oh take God. it off. Couldn't talk about it. We used hers to make the rest. <gasps> it started as part of the gimmick, right? Discretion is our guarantee. You know, she came up with that. It was her idea. She was in on it. Whoever thought it would end this way. It's not her fault if you used her to keep those girls under your thumb. <laughs> You've got it all wrong. Like anyone could ever tell Vivian what to do. To this be fair, press, she bit. seemed pretty sassy. She was in it from the beginning. But then everything went to shit. This was just the final fucking straw. Sorry about the door She felt slumps. responsible for Faith and Lily. <coughs> what her ribbons did to them. Said she'd rather die on her own terms. For something good, or at least something close to it. So she ended it. Oh my oh, god. It didn't matter if that left me to deal with this fucking mess. We promised we'd look out for each other. So what the fuck is this? You couldn't stop her? There had to be a way. No. Look, I know you think it's my fault that I killed him for some twisted pleasure of mine, but I. <coughs> I did what I had to. You don't always get a choice. Sometimes you just have to do what you're told. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? What did he say to you to Some make him do it? Some of the girls decided to pull a runner on us. And the crooked man didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. That usually means shut him up and means. kill him. Either I do what he says, or I'm the one getting dealt with. I had to do it. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill those girls. And then he fucking sold me out. I believe Georgie. I think he's a nice guy. None of guy. this would have happened if it wasn't for that bastard. I can't let you off the hook. I'm taking you in. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit. Get up. No, we can't take it. His intestines up. are... Don't think so, Bigby. What? That's gross. No, that's not okay. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. That's Just a really make sure bad. you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Oh, really poor fucking Georgie. up for me, all right? Poor Georgie. For both of us. Don't worry about the crooked <sighs> man. Oh, bless him. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. Ah, oh, thanks, Georgie. Oh my he God, that looks so gross. Now. Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? No. Rip my limbs off one by one. That's what you want to do, right? That's not who I am. I'm not going to do that. Then. No more games, all right. We both know how this ends. <laughs> oh, is he going to ask us to kill him? Just make it quick. All right, we're going to kill him. I'm not letting him go through all that all pain. Right, Georgie. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, Georgie. <laughs> Oh, I felt like he wanted us to do it, but I still feel bad. Oh man, this is like Romeo and Juliet. I feel so bad. He was, he kind of seemed innocent. Oh man, does that make, that makes Big B an alright person, right? I didn't want to put him through all that suffering of having to just sit there with a dead body and die alone like in pain turning off the lights once and for all at the pudding and pie oh man I'm sorry Georgie I feel bad alright guys so we are at Shepherd Metalworks this is where Georgie said he'd be. Guess we've got to gotta go and see. Shepherd Metalworks, late night. Alright, let's go check it out. This is his car, so he was right on that account. This Still is his warm. car. 
He's here, all right. Sweet. Thanks, Georgie. See, he can be, uh, helpful at times. The scallywag that he is. You can trust him at some points in time. Of course. <laughs> when was it ever going to be that easy? Q. We're in. We're into the hideout. But I think I'm going to end this part here, guys. I have things to do, so it's only a short part. And considering this is the last episode, I do want to try and build it up a bit for you guys. So we're going to leave it off here. And we've just gone into the Shepherd Metalworks to see where Mary and the Crooked Man are hanging out. I hope you all enjoyed this part. If you do, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe yet if you haven't. I love you guys so, so much. And your constant support on this game is awesome. I'm so glad so many of you are still watching and enjoying it. And these cliffhangers, they're getting to me too. <laughs> so I'll try and have the next part up for you guys real soon. I hope you all have a really good day and I'll speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys.